All right, guys, Battle of the Compression Fittings. Today, we're going to compare EKWB's Black Nickel Compression Fittings versus Bitesky's Compression Fittings. Now, I've used both for a very long time. There's definitely pros and cons to each one. So we're going to dive into it. We're going to talk about it. And then at the end, I'm going to tell you guys which one I prefer to use. So let's get to it. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new to the channel, welcome. My name's Mike, super glad to have you. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, guys, and the notification bell, so anytime that I make a new video, you guys are aware of that and you guys can check it out. And if you like this video, guys, hit that like button. I really appreciate it. It definitely helps me out. So, compression fittings, guys. Um, right here down in front of me on the table, I have compression fittings from Bitesky and compression fittings from EKWB. The Bitesky fittings are the compression fittings that I did use in Megatron 1.0. Um, I really, really like them. I made two biddies about them in the past, and I can't say enough good things about them. And then the fittings that are currently in Megatron 2.0 are from EKWB. They are their black nickel. Um, they look super sharp. I really, really like them. So there's pros and cons to each. Let me give you guys a closer look. Let me um, show you guys how they fit under this piece of chrome tubing. And we could talk a little bit about the differences between the actual O-rings between the two. Bitesy has a lot bigger O-ring. Um, it's blue. And then on the EKWB, which you do find in most compression fittings, it just has a little black O-ring. So let's take a closer look and then talk more about them. All right, guys, let's go ahead and talk about Bitesky's compression fittings first. So here's their compression fitting. Um, how these work is you go ahead and you twist the cap off um, just like this. That comes right off like that. It does thread right on there. And then inside there, you do see that you do have your, your big blue O-ring. Now, this is um, a lot different from what you're going to find in most PC water cooling compression fittings. In most of their fittings, you're just going to find a single black O-ring. Some of them have two of them. Um, you'll see what I'm talking about when I go ahead and pick up one of EKWB's um, compression fittings. But I really like how the engineers designed the Bitesy compression fitting here. Um, it works really, really well. It fits right in there really, really snug. It's a lot more surface volume with this O-ring than one of those small, tiny black O-rings. So let me show you guys how it fits onto a piece of tubing. So here's a piece of uh, leftover um, chrome tube that I have. So the first thing that you go ahead and do is you put your cap on just like that, okay? And then you go ahead and you put your O-ring on just like that. And then here's your cap. So your cap will actually slide right over there. And as you can see, guys, look at how much, how much um, volume surface area you have here um, for protection. Protection is always good, right, guys? You can't never have enough protection. So then your O-ring just slides over it just like this. And then it just twists on just like that. And it, and it twists on really easy, and it goes on pretty snug. And as you can see here, it takes a little bit of effort to pull it off. And this isn't even sanded down or anything, so it doesn't have much to grip to it. Um, and to be honest, I didn't sand the, the edges of my chrome tubing on Megatron version 1.0. And I didn't have any problems with them pulling off or anything like that. So, but again, I really, really like these O-rings. Um, they're pretty, pretty amazing. They're pretty, pretty amazing. <laughs> no, they're pretty amazing, and I think they're fantastic. But my favorite feature about these are the big, giant blue O-ring. So, now, let's go ahead and take a look at EKWB's compression fitting. All right. So this is EKWB's compression fitting, their black nickel. Um, now most of them are always the same. You twist the cap right off, just like that. Now the difference is you don't see a big giant O-ring. The little tiny O-ring, if you can see inside there, if the camera focuses, is right in there. So that's your O-ring for, for protection. Now there's not to, that's not to say there's anything wrong with that. Um, I've never had any leaks using these. I just feel a lot more confident um, using the Bitesky compression fittings considering the, the size of the O-ring itself. But let me show you how these go on. So kind of the same deal here, guys. You just slide the cap on, slide your O-ring over your tubing just like that, put your end cap on like that, and then the O-ring will come up just like that. Then you slide your cap down just like that. And then this one, I'm going to have to hold. 
twist it on like this, if I can get it. There we go. So there's that. And that's on pretty snug too. And to pull this off, they're about the same. Um, there was not much difference between pulling off the bite ski and, and pulling off the EKWB. So um, those are the two compression fittings that I really like to use. Um, the two companies that I favor the most. And again, I think it really comes down to comparing um, the O-ring. So. so in conclusion, the winner for me right now is the bite teeth compression fittings. I think they go on a lot smoother. The caps twist on, they thread on a lot easier. And again, for the 10th time, I really, really like um, the big giant blue O-ring. But again, you can't go wrong with either brand. Unfortunately, I said this, I kind of touched on this a little bit in the Megatron 2.0 video. A lot of the black nickel compression fittings that I got from EKWB from Megatron 2.0, they came scratched, um, they came nicked, there was just some marks on them. I usually don't have that issue when I buy my fittings um, from Biteski. And again, I think I stated this before, I usually get them on AliExpress or I buy them directly from Biteski's US store. I think they ship out of Indiana or Illinois. But Either one, you can't go wrong. I'm not going to sit here and say that you're more apt to get leaks from EKWB with the tiny O-ring um, compared to Bite Ski's compression fittings with the big blue O-ring. I haven't really had any issues with leaks on either one. I just simply prefer my preference right at this point is the Bite Ski. They both come in a multitude of colors. Now, the one thing I do want to touch on is I really, really like the finish on um, EKWB's Black Nickel. I think they look amazing. I wish Biteski um, had a black nickel that you could go ahead and order in, in compression fittings. Right now they don't. This is just their standard gunmetal gray color, which is still super, super nice. I just wish they had a black nickel because the black nickel looks super, super sharp. So, but just a quick video, I just, just a quick video, excuse me. I just wanted to touch on these compression fittings and, and talk a little bit about them. But that's all I got for today, guys. As always, stay safe, stay healthy. I appreciate you, and I'll see you in the next one, guys. Take care.